welcome to Workshop World. Today we're going to venture into the world of toolbox organization. More specifically, we're going to be looking at how I like to store my pliers. Now, pliers are a big space sucker in tool, toolboxes, and as much as you spend on a toolbox, you don't want to waste a full drawer on a couple pliers. So a couple years back, I went and looked for a way to fix that issue because I'm a big organizational freak. So I came up with these two solutions that I find extremely useful. I'm gonna have links in the description. So if you wanna go to Amazon and check them out, you're more than welcome to. But first off, let's talk about this wire rack that I have in the background here. And this is exactly what it is. It's a wire rack for pliers. Now, this is the one that I bought first and fell in love with it and bought my dad one. It comes in a 30 inch length. It's two and a half inches tall, so you need to know that for your drawer. And it's about five and three quarter inches from back to front. Uh, very sturdy. One feature that is really nice with this is it's got, I believe, 30 slots in it. And the final 10 at one end is a little bit wider than the ones down here. The reason being is some of the insulated handles for wrenches won't fit down in the thick, down in the, the thin end down here. And they just don't want to go in. So you're caught with either balancing them or setting them. But on the far end, where you have uh, a big wide slot there, they fit real nicely. Now, I still had some issues with my nippers, the big heads up here. It'll fit all the way through, but if you want to put the head in there, it won't fit down. So you got to get creative. I actually use this unit. They show it online as being used that way. I actually store all of mine like that with a handle through it. With a handle through it and the head there. And reason being is I have a couple tools like this crescent needle nose set that is really long. And if I were to set it the way they want to, it would stick real far out in the back. This would sit in the middle of my drawer and it would suck a bunch of space. So I put the head through like that. The handles go farther deeper into the drawer and they'll stagger back and I can fill it out. Uh, one really nice thing about this unit is, let's say you have a drawer length that isn't 30 inches or you only can use, you know, 15 inches of it. You could take a little angle grinder, cut it off and you have a shorter version and you can use this somewhere else. Or you could cut it and make an L in your box. So this has been a very good unit. My dad has one and likes it. Well, a couple years ago I decided, might have been last year, I decided to try something else, a little different. These also I found on Amazon, and they are plastic. They're a little taller, they're three inches tall, so that makes a difference in some of your drawers. And it has basically, in the slots here, is rubber. It's very grippy, it likes to stay put, where this one, as you open and close your drawer, likes to slide. Um, these are 10 and a half inches, I believe, in length, 10 inches. So you've got a 20 inch unit here versus a 30 inch unit with this. And they're very comparable in price like this. This comes as a single unit or you can purchase it as a double unit. These slots are slightly wider than the thin, uh, the thin slots on this wire mesh. So I don't have as much trouble with thick handles. Um, this Milwaukee is pretty thick, so it's tough to work with, but the rest of them fit nice and snug, even the thin ones. They, I didn't think it was going to be this nice, but this is the unit that I prefer at this time. It just seems a little nicer. I can continue to stack this out, and uh, it looks better. But all in all, with these two, I've got two, two, two toolboxes, and I use this one outside and this one downstairs. Um, I couldn't be happier. It really frees up a lot of space in my drawers and it's really not that expensive. If you look at the price that you pay for a tool chest, $700, $1,000, more for the really, really good ones, you don't want to waste your space with a couple, you know, $20, $30, $40 um, 
plier sets taking up the entire drawer. So if you're interested, go take a look at them on Amazon. Let me know what you're using for uh, toolbox organizationals. Um, I'm always looking for more. I still have not found anything I like for, for uh, excuse me, screwdrivers. So if you have it, I'd love to hear a suggestion. So hopefully this helps. And until next time, I'm John. Talk to you later.